a newly paved walkway leading to a beautiful salt sea vista. What could be better? Some freshly planted trees and a recent restoration of the natural shoreline. A mini bridge for tidal flow in a re-engineered salt marsh environment. On the left, what appears to be natural forest. And on the right, an oddly bucolic grassy hill, complete with a fence and a bevy of barbed wire. And then, in the distance, the sinister gleam of industrial holding tanks. And right here, you have to stop and wonder what lies beneath. What's up with the machinery? And what's it all for? Welcome to Mount Trashmore, the Bronx's own 10-story, 81-plus acre mountain of trash and under the grass, an industrial membrane, and under that, an outgas collector, and under that, a massive stormwater drainage system, and under that, tons of decaying New York City garbage from the 1960s and 70s, laced with about a million gallons of toxic waste. While meanwhile, down by the bay, children swam and fishermen fished and rain leached poisons into East Chester Bay. Well, they say all that's been fixed now and no worries. $12 million paid to injured parties and just a little bit of misplaced landscape to mark the spot. But water seeks its own level and runoff, now hopefully sanitized, keeps flowing to the sea. Where below the surface, nature may still be taking it on the chin. So just when they start insisting that everything is looking fine, dig a little deeper and ask the simple question, what lies beneath?